lifestyle style switch with Yang De Rong, empowering professionals to take on the world with new style. My name is Rudon Hardy and I'm a financial services consultant. Well, it's a lot more demanding than my previous career because you have to be working nearly every day. Me and my family actually currently supporting my little brother through college. I needed a career where I can earn a bit more income, where there's no income ceiling in this current job. Uh, it's more formal wear, la. Um, a shirt, a pants with my suspenders. I tend to wear short sleeve shirts, depending on the location where I'm meeting my client. So therefore, you know, a bit more formal. So usually I'll be dressed in like a t-shirt, pants, just any shoes, basic stuff, la. nothing too fancy. Certain pants can't get the right fit. They're a bit too long. I always have to tailor my pants. Certain uh, shirts that I actually enjoy wearing. All these, you know, uh, this is one of my batik pieces. I love this for like weddings, more classier <laughs> occasions. Sometimes I meet my clients, you know, uh, but then it's a really hot day, so I'll actually wear a white shirt with some prints on it. Nothing too fancy. On a casual day, where well, there's some polo tees, certain polo tees, you know, just normal polo tees that I'll do once in a while. I definitely would want to retain my personality. I feel that that's something that my clients appreciate. Hey Hardy, how are you? Hi, I'm doing great. Tell me more about what you're wearing today. Well, today I came very casual, like just wearing a t-shirt, some berms and normal uh, superstars. Yeah, I see some really like, you know, super pro wrestling <laughs> logo there. Yeah, is, I mean, is that what you do as well? I mean, apart from being a financial services consultant, I also... You are a sumo wrestler? <laughs> I wish. I do a wrestling podcast on the side. Yeah. Wow, that's so cool. Do you have problems getting shirts for someone of your sumo size? <laughs> uh, honestly, yeah, I do. It's very hard for me to shop because I'm very white. It's very hard to find a nice fitted thing. Huh? Hardy, I can see you have a lot of joie de vivre. <laughs> Thanks. We are going to capture every ounce of that in your makeover looks. Are you ready for it? I am. Wow. I really like the colours. And it's a very unique design. Not yeah. any kind of batik that I've actually seen before. And this is actually an African batik. The Dutch took it from Indonesia uh -huh. and actually came up with these African batiks which are louder, funkier mm -hmm. and cooler. I would say that my personal sense of style is simple, but I like colour. You know, I don't like to be too dark. I like prints. And to top it, or to bottom it in this case, yeah. we've gone really super colourful with your pants as well. I think you should not be afraid to go colourful with your bottoms when you have a colourful top. You know, you need to balance the two. And of course, the, to top it all, you need a hat, man. This is going to give you these extra inches you need. It does look cool. Oh damn! Wow! I like the mix of colours, huh? Between the blue and the red pants. And the shoes. Look at that. You know, basically for your shape and for your size, the blazer really helps to give you a really nice form. I think it's a good collection. The blazer does add a bit of style, you know? I like the shirt. I always like stripe. I can see myself wearing this during client meetings and all that. Last but not least, when you buy jackets, yeah. in order to fit you up here, the sleeves tend to be a bit longer. So, if you can alter it, it will just fit you really nicely. A good jacket and a good blazer fit should always have a bit or at least one cm of your sleeves peeping out. Okay. You look super dashing. Thank you. Now I know what to do for your final look to make you look dashier. For Hardy in this makeover, I was hoping to retain traces of his personality but transform him into a look that he could be totally confident and feel empowered in his new job. Oh damn! <laughs> wow! Wow! I always feel like guys with a broader, wider body shape, mm -hmm. bow ties work great on them. 
you know when you have a tie sitting on your tummy, you're, you're drawing a lot of attention to your tummy. But when you're wearing a bow tie, the focus is actually on your face. Uh, my biggest takeaway is uh, do not wear ties. Because the focus is on the wrong places. La. I love the suspenders. I always wanted uh, thicker suspenders. And you're so absolutely right about thicker suspenders. Mm -hmm. Because for your body shapes, please don't wear those skinny little suspenders. Mm -hmm. Those are not going to work on you. Okay. Work on broader suspenders. I believe that this look does capture my personality. The bow ties, the suspenders, I think the bright colours, something that I already had in my wardrobe. La. So I like that the wrong actually continued with that. One of the things is to get noticed. It is also very important to still retain some professional looks. So that's something that I feel has been accomplished today. Have confidence in your own shape to empower your own style.